Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm bringing you this review today for pinkypromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at pinkypromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at this really cute style by Gabor. This is Forever Chic. And the color on this one is GL1125SS, which is Shaded Honey Pecan. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's take a look at this pretty new style Forever Chic by Gabor. So Forever Chic is just a very pretty chic lob, very popular style right now. She's got really nice tape, you know, tapered razor cut ends that lay very nice, you know, right grazing the shoulders. So very, very pretty. She is a lace front and a full mono top, so you have the option to part her wherever you like, which is kind of nice. Some of these are coming, a lot of these are coming with a middle part only, and so this is a nice option to be able to part wherever you prefer. So I will do a spin so you can see her all the way around, and we'll get into all of her specs. So here's my left. Okay, and back to the front. So let's take a look at her lace front. Lace front looks very nice. The knotting looks good. And of course, this uh, is a lighter color, so the knots are, you know, tiny, but I think the lace front looks really nice. So here is the left part. But like I said, you have the option to part her wherever you like on this mono top. So very, very nice. You could middle part as well. Look at the ear tabs. I have good coverage, but I do want to point out that this wig feels kind of short ear to ear for an average sized wig. Um, I actually have a little space under these ear tabs. This is fitting me like a petite wig ear to ear. Forehead to nape, there's some extra room. It's, it is considered average size, so forehead to nape, there's you know plenty of room. But if you have a lot of bio hair and you are average sized, you might find that you know, you don't have the best coverage there on those ear tabs. I just want to make a note of that for you all. Okay, so let's look at her measurements. Front here, we have 11.5 inches. We have 13 inches from the crown, nine and a half inch sides, 10 and a half inch layer in the back, four inch nape. So she doesn't have a ton of layers, but there are just a little bit, you know, a little bit of layers just helps the hair lay really nicely without being, you know, super bulky. I do like the way they have tapered it and the ends on this one are, uh, they have that razor cut as opposed to being blunt, you know, just lightens up the texture on the ends. So really nice. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at her interior cap. So there's your parting up close. I'll flip her over here. So you're gonna see this hand tied lace front. So as you can see, it's extended down onto the ear tabs, which is really, really nice. And then there's a soft mesh covering this part, you know, covering the mono top. And in the description, it just says, this is just for comfort. And then you have a hand tied portion right here behind that. You've got soft felt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal, plenty of hair for off the face styling open wefted all through the rest of the cap. So you have a hand tied portion and then you have your open wefted portion. Velcro adjusters. She does not have an extended nape, but it's felt here. And I did have to bring those adjusters in some. So that's what I'm saying. There's plenty of room circumference wise. She does have some stretch. Now you do have this hand tied portion that doesn't tend to have a lot of stretch. There is some stretch in there, but ear to ear is where I'm seeing her fit Petite. All so. right, let's start taking a look at this color. This is GL 1125SS, which is shaded honey pecan. So uh, now the bright lights are gonna reflect off of the blondes in this. So I will, you know, turn those off in just a minute. But uh, first of all, medium, this, the description, <laughs> medium brown roots transition into a chunky blend of sandy brown and medium golden blonde. So when it says shaded um, on these, Gabor styles, they are considered rooted. So not a huge long root, but you'll see that, you know, base color every time you separate the hair. Okay, so here's the color with just the ring light.
turn the ring light off. This is just room light then. glasses and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so she is ear tuckable. She's low density, by the way. Um, I'm not feeling any permatees anywhere in her. So glasses are easy, no problem. Go up in the head, no problem. She's cute with a headband. You could pull a little bit of that out. Sometimes I do that just to kind of hide my bio hair. I don't know that I would pull, I mean, you could pull a bang out here, but you know, it's just gonna be a straight layer by your face. You know, you can do that if you want to, or if you wanted to, you know, you could always shorten that bang and put a bang in her. I have seen her with a bang cut in, so. Okay, and then of course she has plenty of length to go half up, half down. Ponytail, I would do a low pony on her. She's very thick when you put her in a pony, so that's something to note if I can show you that. See how much, you know, she's gonna be a thick, thick pony. I don't know about a twist. I guess she might, she would probably stay up in a clip. I think you're gonna see some of these though, you know, fall down. So again, this might be a style that you wanna, you know, trim some baby hairs into and things like that just for, you know, the sake of uh, styling. And then of course you can just pull her off of your face in a clip, you know, and that might be something that you have to do <laughs> when you first get her. When I was preparing for this review, I was wearing her with this little clip, you know, just getting her out of my face because she really, really wants to face flop, you know, as you can see. So this is definitely one, a style that is going to need some training, possibly some steaming in the front, you know, just to get her uh, trained out of your face. But you know, that usually doesn't take that long to do. It's just a matter of working with the fibers and, you know, getting them where you want them to be. So don't be, don't be alarmed about that or anything. Okay, I wanna thank Pinky Promise for providing this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information below this video. Take care of yourselves. I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>